Kincha y Squiz Tumajat. My name is Tracy Kimbono and I'm from the Silk Nation. And it's an honor to be here tonight at the opening of Picto Prophecy. As you can see behind me, we've got the map and I have a smartphone. So if, you act if you're not here tonight and you're actually watching this online, you can actually get the QRL code, the barcode, on your phone and you can watch all of the amazing productions, the video productions online. Either either by going to react.com or you can basically put your phone up to here and it's done. The, I think the most amazing thing about this is that we're breaking down stereotypes about prophecy and we are the master digital storytellers of the future and I am looking forward to seeing all of the works tonight from everybody. Good morning, it's Sunday, August 14th. We're at the World Indigenous Peoples Conference for Education in Cusco, Peru, and we're about to embark on a cultural journey. Bura yak tamanda samuska masikuna, tanda na hus patakisi, mai karu yak tapi kas papas, kikinda mana kongan cicu, yuka yak tapi luci. Why has kel hot? Encha is squeezed so kli. Hi, my name is Warren Huli. I'm from Penticton. I'm a half Okanagan indigenous, half Irish Ukrainian man. When us artists got together, and started to pitch our ideas of what we were going to do, I decided to take a slightly different approach to my contribution. And what I created was basically an orientation video for the people, the participants, before they enter the installation. I thought if I could create a certain level of context to people before they entered the installation, that what it would do is let them become more emotionally connected to what they're witnessing, more right-brained, more intuitive and in living in the moment, as opposed to a left-brained way of thinking, which is very analytical and you know, you're using your critic and you're critiquing and you're breaking things down. I find it tends to take away a certain level of enjoyment from living in the moment. And I, I really wanted to try something different. I wanted to fuse both art, which is very socially conscious, and something like a TED Talk, if you're familiar with TED.com. And it's kind of fusing the two worlds together because really I think they're both trying to do the same thing and that's to make the world a better place. Live in the moment with the art. Don't analyze it and critique it. It's going to take away from that sense of enjoyment. But applying it to all of your life, think of all the problems that we see as a, as a community, as a global society. You see, Albert Einstein once said, you cannot solve a problem with the same level of thinking in which it was created. So if all of our problems are stemming from left brain dominant thinking, then we can't expect to solve these problems with left brain dominant solutions. So I challenge each and every one of you to look inside your life and see how you can become more balanced brained. Chuck Mahal, Siamat Siaya, Toistanak Queen Snas. Um, greetings, my name is C. Swice. My traditional name is Toistanak. I was invited by the Ulus Collective to participate in this project as a lead artist to help this group of incredible artists bring together a collective vision to create a show that we could tour around. And I was also invited to create new, new work for this project, which was very exciting. And um, just as I encouraged all the artists to step, step outside of their comfort zone and their norm, I also myself 
took an extra step in a different direction, experimenting with photography and, uh, and also mounting that myself and, and laying that out on cradle boards with gel and like a glossy gel to uh, just to experiment what that process is like and creating work and in larger format. My, my video seeks to uh, explore what balance means to us. Myself, I've had a lot of balance issues from car accidents and other things that have put me out of balance and I've had to find my balance. So I kind of explore that visually, but I also went a bit further in my exploration of audioscapes and really tried to combine uh, natural sounds with urbanized sounds to, to play off of that theme of how there are two worlds we live in and walk through and, and we can't always escape the, the urbanization, but we really do our best to find that solace and seek, you know, that quiet space in nature, even if we have to hear the trains in the background. <laughs> Wait, Christian Squex, to from everyone for being witness to the pictograph prophecies here at the Alternator Center for Contemporary Art. This is my portion, some of what I've done created for this show, this exhibition with the Ulus Collective. And behind me, here's a mural I did of these parasitic creatures that are watching, looking at my work on the opposite wall from us. And I did three prints uh, that have sort of, they're digital new media prints and they have um, sort of investigations into prophecy, native spirituality, cultural mythology, as well as Canadian interpretations of First Nations ideologies. So it's, it's kind of a mishmash. As well, I did a video installation that's going to be projected onto the wall, sort of just to, the, to my left. And that sort of encapsulates eight images, as well as Intlekepm and Shekwepmstjin text that tell stories about prophecy to go along with sort of this whole theme that we've got going on, as well as two pieces of creative nonfiction I wrote specifically, you know, to fit this exhibition and sort of what we're, what we're investigating, I guess you could say. And there's some really great art by other great artists here in the collective, and I really hope other people come and check it out. All right, Cook Stetchum, everyone, for having me here. Bye bye. White High School Hall, Inja Isquis Zansen, Ishama Isquis Mariel. Hello, good day. My, na my Okanagan name is Grasshopper. It was given to me by my grandmother for uh, being a high jumper and reaching higher. My piece that is presented for the Picto Prophecies is titled Reminders for the People, and it's a combination film and vinyl word art. Uh, the words came directly from a statement uh, from our elders in the Okanagan, uh, the North Okanagan, about Pillar Rock and the purpose and the intent of the pillar. So I utilized their words and highlighted keywords out of it to um, to get people to to maybe think a little bit more about preserving the. The pillar, uh, it's been under attack lately from vandalism and people not understanding what it is. So that's, that's uh, my, my goal is to uh, raise awareness and to get everyone to be connected to the land because we're all here and um, we're, all, we're all a part of this now. Yo, my name is Bracken Hanus Corlett. I come from the Awikino and Klahus Nations multimedia artist. Uh, I currently live on the Sunshine Coast and uh, also commute into Vancouver to go to school. So my contribution to this exhibition is uh, five paintings, a mask, and as well as a video. The theme to this show is Picto Prophecy and uh, a big part of my practice is working with symbols and pictographs. Uh, I don't, haven't used that word as much for what I do, but um, I've I've apprenticed in traditional uh, Northwest Coast art and design, so I use symbols in my work uh, every day, basically. Whether I'm working in video, whether I'm painting, whether I'm carving, it's, uh, it's part of me. My video, called Two Days Up the Mountain, is uh, it's basically, it's two days up the, I always spent two days up the mountain. We were also exhausted just from the hike that we ended up 
just staying in our tents a lot of the time and napping and like kept on having these waking dreams and just felt like I was in a dream state the whole time. With the new uh, tricks that I've been learning with the live video mixing, I've tried to uh, kind of uh, bring, bring the viewer, bring myself back into that dream state that I was in and some of the things that I was thinking about while I was up there. It's, uh, it show, kind of shows where I'm coming from with uh, my experience growing up with you know, my attachment and, dis and, and uh, disconnection from my culture. My gunshots will make you levitate. I am only 19, but my mind is older. When the things get for real, my warm heart turns cold. It isn't nothing, really. Yo, done. Spark to Philly. Uh, the carving I did actually a couple years ago, uh, I just wanted to bring it to this show. This was actually a collaboration with my wife. She painted the queen for me. I just lined it in for her, and um, she's a little bit better at doing the naturalism type of stuff, whereas I kind of go the more abstract route. I thought about the raven kind of being royalty. It's, it's royalty in our culture, whereas in Canadian culture and in well, British culture, colonial culture, the queen, is, the queen is put on this pedestal and the queen is given this, uh, given this almost spiritual quality for some people. I try not to like over explain it. You know, some people think the raven has consumed the queen. Some people think that the queen is the one taking precedence and the raven's just surrounding it. I always like to hear what different people say. This it can be reinterpreted and remixed so many different ways. We've had a huge crowd tonight, a huge success, and we look forward to seeing more of this happen. I don't really have much more to say because I think everything is going to be online. It's been a great time tonight. We had a huge success, and uh, that's about it.